Hello, dear viewers of the wonderful YouTube realm and from the glorious planet Nexus. How's it going, everyone? I hope you're feeling good. I'm Icy Volk, and I am finally back on YouTube. It's been quite a while since I've put out some YSR videos. Actually, I want to say it's been almost two weeks since I have put out my latest video, which was related to mining, which is not even a major feature of this game. So I would like to apologize for not putting out solid content as of late. However, I have been more active on Twitch uh, more than anything. I, I've been streaming quite frequently. I've been taking my time to enjoy the launch of the game. That, and that's also why I haven't been putting out videos, because I have taken a break to get to level 50. Uh, and I've tried doing that as fast as I could, and I, and I couldn't even do that, because work and other life excuses, 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 and more excuses. But uh, I've also been kind of lazy, and I haven't had a lot of ideas as far as what kind of videos I wanted to up upload for uh, that were WASR related. I did have some video ideas, I did have some videos planned in mine already. Uh, I just haven't had the time to really sit down and record them one by one. And I don't know, I just, I really wanted to enjoy the launch of the game, the game itself, every aspect of it. And I did that. And I, I've finally gotten to level 50. I, I've actually reached level cap about, I want to say, three weeks ago, maybe a little bit less. Uh, it was actually on June 24th that I reached level 50. And um, it's been a bit, it's been quite a blast so far. Uh, but that's, I, I, let's actually get to the topic of this video. Today I really want to talk about World Story Instances, which are kind of, ga they're game-breaking. They're fun to do, and um, if you don't know, World Story Instances in WoWstar are these uh, solo, challenging solo quests that take you somewhere else from the open world zones. So at level 35, so if you don't know, Wildstar's leveling system is pretty traditional. It's not too basic. It has some kind of innovation to it, especially with the different paths available to players and uh, the public events and like the jumping puzzles and all that. Um, it's not that basic, but it is pretty traditional to other types of, uh, to other MMOs uh, that are existing currently. Uh, but once you get to level 35, uh, you get to do your first World Story instance, which is very much related to the, the end game lore of Wildstar. So when you reach level 35, you get a call from Drusera, who's this super mysterious entity that was uh, designed by the Elden to sustain life on Nexus. Uh, I'm not going to spoil any more about this because it, the, the lore in this game is actually pretty damn hardcore. It's fun and it gets even better as you level up. So when you get to level 35, you get your call from Drusera, who is this NPC who will guide you through these world story instances. And the first one that you do is, is pretty easy. Uh, it, it's what you're looking at right now. This is actually the first one that I did. And... Um, and it just had me going through different sections in this instance. So every world story instance takes place in an instant zone. It's not actually part of the open world. Um, and you're supposed to do them by yourself. And I feel like the world story instances are entertaining. They, they really make the leveling process less monotone, less mundane. And they're a nice... And they're also a nice way to get some nice pieces of gear. Um, at the end of every World Story instance, you get a certain blue that you can pick from. You get a, a few choices for re rewards, and you can pick a, a solid piece of gear. And they're very beneficial. Uh, but they're, those story World Story instances are not mandatory. They're optional. Um, and they're designed for people who want to learn a lot, a little bit more about the lore. And if you do want to, if you do want to get an idea of what the lore is with the with Wildstar, then I would really rec recommend doing these World Story instances. And if you're jumping in in raids and 
we're in uh, and uh, are wondering oh why is this all happening why why do we have to fight these mobs why do, are they uh, looking at like they're corrupted well uh you should probably do this the world story instances before doing the raids because they'll give you uh an idea as to what's happening in the world of nexus and why and why uh, there are weird creatures roaming around why there's purple stuff in grim vault why there are these weird purple eyeballs creeping at you there's a lot of interesting lore in wildstar and i would like to commend papulicious for coming up with a great storyline uh but the story world instances are kind of challenging um if you know what you're doing in combat then it's not going to be as difficult for you especially if you're a veteran if you're an mmo if you're a veteran mmo player it's going to be easier for you and if you know what you're doing in combat it's not going to be that difficult but uh the the mobs are a little bit tougher than your normal ones that you have to kill uh for your main quests so World Story instances start at level 35, and you get a new one every two or three levels, I want to say, and they're all different. Um, they, they they take place in different, different locations, and the locations are different from each other. The first one that I had to do took place in an Elden facility, and I had to, like, collect these elemental parts, place them somewhere, uh, and... Uh, bring back some kind of power i don't exactly remember what was the purpose of that world story instance but i i had to investigate this elden facility it was kind of fun it had like combat involved and some puzzles and when i was done with that uh story instance by the end of it i learned some really important stuff that was lore related and uh i got to know more about drusera herself what she was made up of and why she was designed by the Elden. And so I was taken to this mysterious Elden room that had these giant laser guns on the ceiling all around Drusera. And so then I was taking out, taken out uh, back to Thade. And so every time I did a world story instance, I had to go back to the um, to a certain NPC to claim my blue. And so it was a pretty, it was pretty easy to, to complete these story instances. I would really recommend you do them. They're fun. They're not that hard to do. They're actually enjoyable. And they kind of break out uh, the kind of mundane leveling system that's currently in game. Uh, but then after doing the, the first world story instance, I, I went into this like corrupted Elden facility, which was covered in in slime goo purple slime goo and corrupted strain monsters and and creatures that were covered in in slime goo it was very fun and after that uh, story world uh, world story instance i had to actually enter a cave that was just corrupted by the straight completely covered in goo and the purple goo and and weird yellow eyeballs uh it, it was pretty hardcore and it, that one even had a cutscene in it and it was uh available at level 41 um very enjoyable it had it, it even had like a tower defense type of challenge in it not a not a challenge but like a like an event going on and i had to do all of this by myself it was exceptionally entertaining and at level 43 or 42, I did this interesting uh, world story instance that had uh, me building, rebuilding life. Instead of fighting creatures uh, for most of the time, I had to, to construct buildings and give life to creatures. And, and I had to step into Drusera's shoes and I had to feel what it was like to be a creator of life. And, uh, and a uh, protector of the elements and that was interesting but the that particular story world world story instance was kind of bugged I, I had to check out the forums to see how to solve a certain objective that was uh, a certain objective of this instance it was, it was kind of frustrating but I, I managed to uh, complete that I got that working and um, after I had 
brought life to a village. Uh, the entity, which is the main antagonist of Wildstar, um, came up from the sky and decided to screw screw my village over with a bunch of corrupted creatures. Basically, he had corrupted everything that I had created. Um, just he ruined everything, and that was that was a bad time for Drew Sarah. She was going insane. She was like, "Do something about this icy bolt. Be the hero of time and history and all of that." And so I killed all of these creatures. Unfortunately, I had left my healing gear on. I believe I I had yeah. So I I was barely doing any damage. Oh, and then I could switch gear, and I had the the, the whole issue resolved. I I could finally do decent amounts of damage. But anyway, uh, the the world story instances are are very cool. Um, they're nothing like I haven't really seen before. Uh, the the objectives are are typical to like the the main quests there the the things that you do in the story instances are pretty regular they they're similar to 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 like normal leveling quests but uh they're a little bit more challenging because you're in there by yourself you don't have anyone helping you and you have to be kind of careful as to as to where you step because the zone itself is instance so that means you don't have a lot of space to maneuver with you don't you can't really dodge a lot of enemies you really have to be careful and and kill everything that's in your way and and you also have a bunch of puzzles going on here and there so that's fun and mainly what I really really dig about the world story instances is the lore itself and Drusera's presence and I did and I and I feel like the lore is presented in a really good way in the world story instances. So I'm really glad that the developers came up with these instances, these these lore-based scenarios um, that take you from the regular leveling process and they, they force you to enjoy the the game and its story and its and its art and all of that. So you don't just play the game uh, for fun. You don't look at the game as just any other MMO and go like, oh, I'm going to get to level 50, get my gear, and I'm going to do some raids. I'm not going to care about the game itself. I'm just going to play with my buddies and, and try to become the best of the best. No, 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 no. With the World Story instances, you feel like you're actually listening, like you're paying attention to the lore, and and you feel like you're enjoying the music and the visuals and all that. So it, it does feel more... Uh, you, you feel the RPG ac aspect in those story world instances. So that's me. That's all I wanted to talk about for today. Um, I don't think I've done all of the story world story instances, so I might spend some more time doing that. Uh, but in the meantime, you guys should patch up your Wildstar client because the latest um, content update is here. It, it is actually the first major content patch, uh, and it's called The Strain. Are two new zones available in the game for you to check out, and uh, I believe in the upcoming content patch we should have a new battleground. So that sounds interesting. Uh, but yeah, down patch up your client because you've got new zones to discover. Uh, the new zones are actually new daily quest hubs, so uh, you have you have a better way now to accumulate elder gems. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's Wildstar video. I know it's been a while since I've put out any videos, and I'll try my best to be more, a little bit more active on YouTube. I know some of you really, really want me to put out some more stuff, and I, I appreciate it. Um, and if you want to see me play the game itself, don't forget to check to check over check out. Wow, I can't talk. <laughs> yeah, I can't talk because it's blazing hot today. It's actually oh, it's so humid. I can't stand humidity but anyway if you if you would like to see me play wildstar i recommend you uh follow twitch.tv slash ic shards that's where i stream um uh, i stream pretty frequently anyway thank you guys for watching i'll see you soon goodbye